Hi guys, um, I'm doing something uh, slightly different this week um, uh, and it's, uh, it's all about the solar panels uh, that I'm using for the van. From the beginning I've had a, a long internal discussion about uh, the number of panels that I needed uh, for my goals and, and, and the primary goal was uh, really uh, extended stays uh, and then boondocking, so free camping. Um, and I, I have the 405 watts installed now on the roof and I wasn't sure that that was going to be sufficient. But in the last half a year that I um, have installed them on the roof and uh, have experienced them somewhat uh, because I'm still building on the van, um, I've, I've had the impression that that's going to be probably more than sufficient. Not, not for basic needs, really to be comfortable because for basic needs you probably be more than sufficient with uh, with 200 watts or so. My current issue is that uh, I have to be prepared for periods of, of, of cloudy weather or even rainy weather um, and especially uh, during the winter as well because during the winter there's less sun. Uh, so from the beginning I, I included the possibility to add an extra circuit breaker in my breaker box uh, so it would be able to put a, connect a cable to that uh, and install mobile flow, flexible panels uh, that I could lay out around the van outside uh, and use those as an extra power source. But recently my, my sponsor uh, Link Solar has uh, gracefully uh, supplied me with two different types of panels that I've been testing uh, over the last couple of weeks. Uh, and and uh, both are a good alternative for that purpose, uh, but I'll get back to that uh, later on. First I'll uh, show you what I did to create the extension cable for these panels. I'm working on another project and that's for some portable or mobile solar panels and I need to make an extension wire as well as the wire that goes towards the uh, controller. And I'm using um, 10 gauge uh, wire for that as well as Anderson connectors. And these are quite heavy duty connectors that are very suitable for this purpose. These are identical connectors uh, with a positive and a negative connection. And when you fit them together, you turn them around and they make a solid connection. So it's easy to connect and disconnect multiple times. Then of course I need my crimper and find some dies to fit. So the lock fits snug in the crimper and doesn't move. Then I have the connector. It's fairly difficult to get them in, so I'll do it one by one. That's fine. They come with a little lip, and that lip goes over that metal piece, that metal spring inside. So you'll hear it click when it fits right. There it goes. And then, of course, we have two connectors. That's the way they fit, and that's really a solid connection. As an extra precaution to avoid any moisture getting into the fitting, I'll use some hot glue to fill up the hole. Then I got two bolts to attach to the frame and the washer. Now find a place uh, on the hitch to attach it to. To be able to connect the extension cable to the batteries, I first needed an exterior plug uh, and I found a good location at the rear bumper. As part of the bumper we have a, a clip here which would uh, be an ideal location to attach the Anderson connector to. It's easily accessible 
it's out of view behind the bumper and while driving there's no dirt and of course uh, there's an easy access to the inside of the vehicle. Beautiful. Now the wiring. Now we need to connect the exterior plug with the solar controller inside the van. Then I got a grommet. I already had a rubber cap from uh, the hole in the chassis through which the wire has to be guided. Uh, and I'll just make a hole and put the grommet in there as well. So now I can put in the wire, finish it on the outside, and then we can start working on the connection with the solar controller. Since these mobile panels that I have um, are not the same voltage as the ones that I have on the roof, uh, I cannot put them on the same controller, so I have to use a second controller. Uh, this is a small uh, Sunsaver 20L. Guiding them into the side wall. Yeah, we got them. So we got the wire coming out here. Then we have the, the plug here. That's okay. using the remainder of the wire to create an extension cord that goes to the panels. Now the very first thing I'll do is uh, open this up and the wires have to go through here. So then the next step is to connect these little connectors. So the next step is to have them in this order and slide them together. Going to look like an Anderson connector more and more. Now we have a few issues because now I need to have an Anderson connector on the side of the solar panels. This is the solar blanket that I'm testing out and as you can see this has a unconventional connection and this is a pretty short piece of wire. I have a small extension cord to test it with so what I'll do for the moment is I'll cut this extension cord off and put the connectors on this. Even though we have two identical connectors, by turning them around, they fit. One interesting place to put these solar panels is on the front uh, windshield. And this raises the angle of the panels more towards the sun, so it catches more sunlight. Uh, and it also blocks the sun from entering the cabin of the van which reduces heat quite a bit inside, uh, inside of it. Let's 
a little bit difficult with one hand, but... That's the blanket. Fairly easy to deploy. When the panel is in place, we connect it to the extension cable. Then we have our extension cord, the two Anderson plugs. This is small extension wire. We got the panels, the cord hanging down, put it underneath the vehicle. To the Anderson connector, and as you can see it's already charging. Instead of a solar blanket you can also use a flexible panel when you're parked in the shade. Um, just put them uh, wherever the sunlight can reach them. Uh, I'll leave it at that uh, in this video, but I'll do a follow-up video next week um, in which I'll go a little bit deeper into the differences between uh, this solar blanket and the day four flexible solar panel that's, that's on the van right now. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what my favorite is. Uh, it'll be sort of a review and a few comparisons and maybe some technical data uh, so you know what, what that is. Um, so thank you for watching and uh, see you next week. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one of a kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. Done a good job.